Hello, welcome to another lesson in Make Science Easy. We're carrying on with biology and today we are going to be studying all about nutrients in plants. So, plants are pretty much like animals in many ways. In order for an animal to remain healthy, we need to get lots of nutrients in our diet and we need to have a varied diet that provides all the correct nutrients. Well, plants need different nutrients too, and if they don't get those nutrients, they will not be healthy. Just like in animals, a deficiency in any nutrient can lead to illnesses and other problems. Where plants are different from animals, however, is that plants can make the main nutrient in their diet, glucose, from photosynthesis, and they can then use this glucose to make lots of other nutrients that they require. Animals really don't have the ability to do this. We can produce a few things in our bodies, but not much. But plants can make an awful lot, just from glucose, just from its raw material made from photosynthesis. Any nutrients they can't make, which are mainly mineral salts, need to be absorbed by the plant when they absorb water in their roots. So I'm gonna take you through the main nutrients that a plant needs. So here we've got nitrates. And nitrates contain, unsurprisingly, nitrogen as the main element. And nitrogen is needed to make amino acids. It is absolutely essential that you have nitrogen in an amino acid. All amino acids must contain them. And the plant is going to use amino acids to make protein. And protein is required to grow new cells. So without enough nitrogen, then you're not going to have enough protein and a plant is not going to grow and it's not going to be very healthy. So the picture we can see here is a classic example of a plant that is nitrogen deficient. And it has, as you can see, poor growth. It's very small. The leaves are small and they're pale or yellow. It's not a healthy plant and it's probably not going to live very long. Phosphates are another key group. And phosphates contain, unsurprisingly, phosphorus. And phosphorus is incredibly important, both for respiration and photosynthesis. Without phosphorus, neither of these processes can really occur very efficiently or very well. And if there's no photosynthesis or less photosynthesis, then obviously we're going to have a problem in the plant because they're going to have less glucose. And there's also going to be another problem because without phosphorus, without phosphates, it's not going to be as much respiration, less of the glucose is going to be broken down and the plant isn't going to have enough energy. Deficiency of phosphates can lead to poor growth of roots and leaves, a low fruit yield. So in plants that grow fruits, say apple trees or orange trees or anything that has a fruit really, you're gonna have a very small amount of fruit and the fruit that does grow is going to be quite small. It's probably not going to be very well developed. And you also get small and purple leaves. Potassium, another key salt. Potassium helps to regulate and control the amount of other salts in all of the cells. And it's also used by enzymes that are involved in respiration and photosynthesis. Now, if you don't have enough potassium, you generally have spotted or streaky leaves. Again, low fruit yield. This is because if there's not enough respiration, if there's not enough glucose, then you're not going to be making fruits. Also, plants that don't have enough potassium generally are more likely to become ill. They're not going to have immunity to disease. Plants are just like animals in this respect. They can become ill. They can become diseased. So potassium is actually part of their immune system. Magnesium is another really important salt. It's vital for the production of chlorophyll. And chlorophyll, as we know, absorbs sunlight, and that sunlight provides energy for photosynthesis. A plant that doesn't have enough magnesium has yellow leaves in between their veins. You can see this very, very clearly in this picture. Not enough chlorophyll means less photosynthesis. Less photosynthesis means less glucose is being produced, and plants have less energy, and they cannot synthesize as many of the other chemicals that they need. If you're a farmer, you really do not want your crops to be deficient in any nutrients. Deficient means you do not have enough of a specific nutrient. If there aren't enough nutrients, if there are any deficiencies, then crops are not going to be healthy. So, 
Farmers can add fertilizer to their crops and these contain the required minerals that help plants to become healthy and to grow well. NPK fertilizers are the main types of fertilizers that many farmers use. NPK stands for nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium. And we can see in this image we've got an NPK fertilizer and it says 161613S. Now what this tells us is the ratio of nitrogen to phosphorus to potassium, 16 to 16 to 8. And it says 13S because they've added another mineral in there, so that's going to be sulfur. So we have the ratios that these minerals are in, and we can see if it's going to be useful for our crops or not. In summary, plants need a range of minerals to become healthy. If a plant does not have enough of any mineral, it is deficient and it is going to have some kind of health problem. Nitrates help plants grow because they are used to produce protein. Phosphates and potassium salts are essential in respiration and photosynthesis. Magnesium salts are needed to produce chlorophyll. And if soil does not contain enough of any particular mineral, then fertilizers containing these minerals can be added to the ground and this helps the plants grow. I hope I've made science easy for you. I hope you've learned a lot in this lesson. Until next time, keep on learning.